welcome everybody. We are here in my home in Burlington, and today we are going to have a look back at 2020. A global pandemic, an American election, coronavirus, unemployment, protests for racial equality. This has been quite an unusual year. And hey, you can't say that it wasn't memorable. <laughs> Here is how I have been surviving 2020 in no particular order. Lots of food, lots of family, lots of books, cats, walks, and time spent in my garden. Oh, and lots of work. So I asked you out there to tell us what 2020 meant to you, and you delivered. Vicky said, the best thing about 2020 is my niece, born in July. When things were discouraging, I thought of her upcoming birth and better days ahead. Cheers to that, Vicky, and congratulations. This picture is of the two most important women in my life, my daughter and my granddaughter. I am so grateful that we had so much safe outdoor time this past summer to spend together. Holly said, 2020, wow, grateful to be healthy and have dancing parties in my home even if it's just me or me and my dog. Holly, I love it when you dance, never stop. John said, of course, this was the summer of the porch. And I know I got to sit on John's porch. It has a beautiful view of a lake. Jen said, I'm becoming a professional domestic cat photographer. Join the club. 2020 has allowed all of us to hear ourselves think whether we want to or not. We checked in with our friends Galen and Rick. So this is the year we got to move back home to Oregon. And we got married. Yeah, the venue, the ceremony, it was all donated to couples just like us. So it really meant a lot. Miss, Miss you, Ava. Ava. So one of my favorite things about making the Stuck in Vermont video series, which I have been making for the past almost 14 years, <laughs> is watching kids grow up. Of course, our friend Oscar Williams, who we first met when he was 11 years old, and then we followed him to Broadway. And then more recently we saw him, he's now a teenager, a high school student. Amelia Mason and Victoria Fern were little cute, adorable munchkins. And then I got to see them in the same show with Oscar. Mindy Akadka, I met her when she was eight, now she's 11. She placed in the top five of an international competition. We also wanna give a shout out to our friend Amir Malik, who came in fourth that's right fourth on american ninja warrior and tara says while writing songs i also maintained teaching online and in person to a group of wonderful students who have a newfound love of in-person learning that's something i think a lot of us learned this year to be grateful for what we have i'm grateful that my 86 year old mom is doing okay people are talking now about getting back to normal well i'd like to have a new normal that nobody's imagined yet Jan said, my 91-year-old mom has survived two hospitalizations since the pandemic began. I'd love to share our positive stories about living with a medically fragile child and the respite that COVID has offered our family. No in-person school, no nurses, all remote all the time fits our family in a very cozy, sane and safe way. It's interesting to reflect that with COVID-19, the rest of the world has joined us in social isolation, anticipatory grief and ambiguous loss. Natalie said, I made this video in Greensboro with the amazingly talented Duncan Yandel of Williston. Well, COVID set me on a path. I learned to bake bread and taught myself to sew masks. Yum. These kiddos have kept me sane and driven me insane all at the same time. They may be Arizonans by birth, but with mom, dad, grandparents, etc., being Vermonters, they have the soul of Vermont in their veins. You might want to consider heading down to Sweeney Design Build in Shelburne to film what they've done there. And it seems like there are always a family or two strolling around to take in this little Vermont wonderland. I haven't gotten a chance to go yet, but that is a huge thing about 2020. There is the Vermont Lights the Way hashtag initiative. It's a way for us all to stay positive in the midst of this really unprecedented year. Sarah said, I have relied on outdoors and nature even more than usual this year. It saves me. We are lucky to live in a beautiful state with so many beautiful places to get outside. I couldn't agree more, Sarah. That has saved us too. This has been a trying year. We worry, we doom scroll, we long to see loved ones. But I know how lucky I am. I have a job, a house, a partner, and a close-knit family, no matter how far away they live. The best, best, best thing that happened this year was the birth of my first grandchild, Ellie Eleanor. 
I truly feel there is no other place I'd rather live than Burlington, Vermont during a pandemic. For our city and state leaders, I am eternally grateful. There's no place I would rather be stuck. Terry says, 2020 has meant more time alone with my beautiful Sophia. Vera said, my kitties keep me sane. Thank goodness for all our furry friends. Sean said, this is the highlight of my year. After being together for 16 years, we decided to get hitched. I was totally surprised, hence the tears in this photo. Congratulations, Sean and Don. I am a third generation Canadian that calls Vermont my part-time home. I must admit, although its natural beauty is beyond compare, what ignited our love affair with Vermont was its people. We love you, Vermonters. 2020 was the first time in 42 years that I was not able to see my favorite place. I love Vermont and I miss her dearly. And speaking for Vermont, we miss you too. Sharon says, reminder sign for the man with developmental challenges that I work with, but it could easily be a sign for all of us. <laughs> yes. I have loved the stillness of these days, the opportunity to reflect and get in a newer, more refreshing groove. Every day I post a different necklace on Facebook and tell its story. That is something I would never do in ordinary times. I love that idea, Mickey, and check it out. I'm also wearing a crazy necklace. I'm so excited that I got to interview the MVP of 2020. It's Peanut! Look at you, man up with Peanut, Peanut. Hello, Peanut, it's me, Ava Solberger. What are you doing here? We're stuck in, stuck in Vermont. Stuck in, stuck in Vermont. I like to make videos and interview people for a living too. So I'm gonna ask you some questions. Peanut, do you have a middle name? Beauregard. Do you have a favorite movie? Crooklyn. Do you have a preferred pronoun? They. Do you ever feel lonely? A laughing by myself is not the same. What's your favorite color, Peanut? Pencil color. What makes your heart happy? Puppies. Peanut, does anything scare you? Not being taken seriously as a journalist. <laughs> What's your favorite joke? Two peanuts walk into a bar, one was assaulted. Sorry. Peanut, you've interviewed lots of famous Vermonters. Who's your dream interview? You. And Deputy Health Commissioner Tracy Dolan. How do you feel about 2020, Peanut? What the f And of course, seven days turned 25 this year. And so I was so excited to document that with the Pass It On video. Unfortunately, we lost some stuck in Vermont friends this year. Ralph Preston, the shipbuilder who puts little itty bitty shits in bottles. Ralph, you will be missed. Shirley Chevalier, the wonderful pilot and photographer who took us up in a plane. Shirley, fly high. And Jack Laser of Butterworks Farm, a wonderful man. He left an indelible mark on the farming community and he will be missed. And we will continue to eat your wonderful yogurt, Jack, in your honor Mwah. to all their friends and families. Wishing you all happy, healthy new year. I hope 2021 brings us all better fortune, a vaccine, good health. Thank you so much for tuning in every other week and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. How's my audio? Can you hear me? La 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 Boop, 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 boop. I'm talking about stuff in Vermont and crap like that. Crap like that. <laughs>